YouTube, it's Brian Phillips again. We're here with another property related thing, not RC aircraft. But it involves fire, which is always fun. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to show you guys. We, we've been learning all sorts of new tricks lately, one of which is tagging up our septic alarm <laughs> in case the crap backs up. And we also have this today. It's gonna to be exciting. We're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna hook it up to a 20 gallon tank, or 20 pound tank, I think it's a 20 pound tank. Oh, it's so heavy. And you're gonna see if this thing can catch something fun on fire. And you can watch at home. Okay guys, you gotta cut with some zip ties. Or you gotta cut some zip ties. This is gonna be a pretty tough unboxing. I like these unboxings the best, the ones that take like five seconds. Okay, so we're gonna lift this up. Now, if you're like me, you don't know anything about gas and stuff. So, I know you're coming here to learn everything that there is to know about this stuff. But this should be pretty easy, I hope. So I've got that ready to rock. The hose, there's a big end and a little end, okay? There's a protective cap. You put that there. You put this on. You get it started. You get it started, which is weird because it appears to be reverse threaded. Get your sizable wrench, open it up to the right size, and tighten it down. And it's literally, that took 30 seconds. Then you're going to take this little safety cap off of this after it gets refilled and you're probably thinking, Brian, that thing's not going to fit on there. That thing's little. And you're going to say, yeah, that's what I thought too. If you'll notice that this is about, I'm going to call it a half an inch outside diameter. I don't know exactly the dimension. It might be five eighths. But you've got this. In fact, it says on there. 2201-4, 130 CFH. So whatever that is. You're thinking, this is what I hook into my grill though, Brian. Yeah, but it's also threaded inside too. So it's like the refiller. So you basically just get that going. This one's also reverse threaded, which is super weird. Make sure this is closed when you start. Open your crescent wrench. Make sure you're not gonna cross thread it. And I heard the gas go. There was a little fart. It wasn't me this time. I promise. And you're just going to put this in here until you have it relatively tight. Okay, so we got that tight. We're going to over tighten it. Then basically, um, part of this awesome kit, there's some instructions. As you can see, we've read them completely for safety <laughs> reasons. Um, and then there's a striker with a little flint, flint and striker. Amazing. So, the first thing you do, you go out into the garage or outside, preferably not the garage. Listen for the pressurization. There's another valve here. Open it up. Oh, wow. <laughs> But uh, we could test the instructions here. Yeah, it works, guys. <laughs> so that's what we're going to use. This is a weed burner, so it's designed to uh, eradicate weeds. You don't just use poison and kill them like good normal people. <laughs> you burn them! So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pause it, and we will give ourselves a challenge next. Okay. Okay. You're going to attempt to light that. Wow, that was way easier than the last thing I did. <laughs> I would 
say that's a that's a win. So this thing basically, I think it goes for about forty-five or fifty bucks. Yeah. We will link to it. It's awesome. Just quit wasting your time with a regular torch and get one of these because if nothing more than the awesome factor, I mean, you don't even need to burn a weed with it. It's just, you could start your cigarettes with it. If you're a smoker, I don't smoke. Maybe that's a bad idea. I would not do that. Don't start your cigarettes with it. Um, what else could you do? Cigars? No. Also not cigars. Also not. No. Um, marshmallows? Marshmallows if they Maybe. were a long ways away from you. <laughs> but hey, you want to see if it burns this crap next to the fence? Yeah. Let's see. Yep, it does. <laughs> so the only thing is, guys, you got to be a little bit careful with this because we've been having rain. So the rain helps us get away with crap like that. If you start a forest fire, don't blame me. Remember, it only takes, what is it that uh, Smokey the Bear said? Only you only can you prevent forest can fires. Prevent forest fires. <laughs> All right. Come back for more, guys. Okay guys, we're back. We're gonna try this part. It's not been burned before. That one was burning, but it got snowed on so much that it went out. We're gonna try this one. Unless you're one of those Bear grill types that can start a fire with his butt. I cannot. I need a torch and about six gallons of gasoline to start something like this on fire. This is not firewood. This is just dead wood. And uh, to be honest with you, it's been sitting out in the winter. It's been covered in snow until about a week ago. So if this stuff burns, I'll be very happy. Another reason to get this thing. That is so freaking cool. <laughs>